Hello everyone, that's you in today's video. Going to have a look at the weather next week, 10 days in today's video. Uh, this is going to take us around the 25th of uh, May. So we're going towards the uh, latter stages of the month with this update. Later on today, we will have the second update for the uh, late spring bank holiday weekend. The first one of uh, those uh, on Saturday. We've got the second one coming up this evening around 7 o'clock. Let's say this is going to be looking at the weather next week, 10 days. We're actually going to start off concentrating on the situation in the next... Um, couple of days because it looks like we could get some uh, really quite wet weather on Wednesday, a bit of a washout Wednesday. But this is the facts chart, this is the human interpretation of the models by the forecasters at the UK Met Office for midnight on Wednesday. You see, we've got two fronts here uh, a decaying and dying cold front, and then an occlusion, occluding front, uh, just there. Neither of those fronts at midnight on Wednesday are going to be very active, but if we uh, scroll down, you can see that there's an interesting uh, little uh, wave started about on that occluding front a long way south at midnight on Wednesday. It's off the coast of Portugal. A uh, little uh, kink in the isobars, which is going to develop along this front into an area of low pressure. So this is the fact chart for midday on Wednesday, uh, where we find that uh, we have actually got an area of low pressure developing along the front. Again, ignore this uh, weak front just here. It's this one that's the active front. And uh, you'll notice that it is developing there an area of low pressure along that front. So uh, the front is developing a wave, and then the wave is developing into an area of low pressure. That could be some very wet weather on Wednesday into the far south and southeast of the country. The south things are looking at by midnight on Thursday, where you see we've got a properly formed area of low pressure then in the North Sea. So it's run up across southeast of the country, and it's pushing out into the North Sea by midnight on uh, Thursday. Uh, that's going to be very active, and it's going to give a lot of quite heavy rain. This is the GFS precipitation forecast for 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. You see it's already quite wet across uh, many southern, eastern and southeastern parts of the country. And that rain really intensifies on Wednesday afternoon. So some very, very wet weather is coming into the south and southeast uh, in the second half of the day on Wednesday and pushing north. It's actually covering many parts of uh, England, but I think the heaviest is through the Midlands down into southern and southeastern England, going over towards Yorkshire and Lincolnshire and down into East Anglia and southeast England. Then that rain uh, sweeps into the North Sea as we go through the overnight period uh, on, uh, on uh, Wednesday into Thursday, clearing away by the time you get through to 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Now, we could get anything up to 25 millimetres with this rain, uh, and that's an inch of rain, quite possibly, across some southern and southeastern parts of the country. But one problem with this is that, if we go back to the fact chart, uh, for, uh, this is midday Wednesday, so the one problem is that this wave along the front might slip to the east and southeast of us. So it could be that uh, this is going to get shunted to our east and southeast. So particularly if you're living in parts of sort of Lincolnshire, Yorkshire, Midlands, central southern England, and you uh, want wet weather uh, for your garden, we may just about miss miss it there. I think for East Anglia and South East England, it's a much greater chance of getting uh, this wet weather. We're still going to firm up on the exact track of this uh, area of low pressure along the wave in front. But it does look quite interesting. It's been a long time since it's had a thoroughly wet, soaking uh, day like that down in the southeast. So uh, we'll firm up on exactly what's going to happen with this area of low pressure on Wednesday. Right, looking at the next week to 10 days, we've got the uh, E7UF here on the top. This means of me flowchart, by the way. E7UF on the top, the GFS is on the bottom. Uh, 500 millibars, 8,000 feet is an area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure being moved around by jet stream running above. Red extrapolates high pressure, blue to low pressure. Uh, this is what the E7UF is doing for the uh, week to 10 day period. It's got a ridge here up to our north, quite an extensive area of northern blocking, stretched out from Scandinavia and going all the way over to Greenland. Underneath it, it's quite shallow, but there's a trough underneath it, and then there's more low pressure in the Atlantic that's probably going to be running underneath uh, this trough. So, uh, underneath the ridge, I should say, that's blocking to the north. So it looks like that's quite an unsettled uh, scenario as we're going through into the second half 
of uh, May, running up towards the latter stages of the month. Uh, probably quite cool as well. If this was winter, it would be enough to be producing some very cold conditions because this is an extensive uh, blocking feature we've got going on up here. I think we're likely to have quite a bit of unsettled weather as we go through into uh, the second half of May. This is the GFS, very similar. Not quite as extensive with the blocking signal. There's a bit of blocking around Greenland. Uh, but essentially, it's still a southerly tracking jet stream. We've still got low pressure coming through the Atlantic into uh, the UK. So I talked about this in the video yesterday, the gas over Sunday rounder. It does appear that all of a sudden, after a very prolonged spell of dry weather, we are shifting increasingly into... Uh, an unsettled phase of weather. We are shifting increasingly into what looks like quite a pronounced period of unsettled uh, conditions, which will bring much needed uh, rainfall. These are the GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next two weeks, seeing with temperatures first. Well, red line here is the third year temperature average. Now, for this rain event we've got coming up on Wednesday, uh, we've kind of forgotten the warm weather that's on the way for tomorrow, but we are going to have some very warm conditions tomorrow down in South East. This will be ensemble for London. You see we are several degrees above average. So if the sun comes out, and that's the big unknown, but if the sun comes out, the far southeast of the country might get those temperatures into the mid-20s uh, Celsius tomorrow. It's not impossible that we might see 25 degrees somewhere like central London, but it will be very dependent on whether the sun comes out. Otherwise, just a cloudy, humid day uh, for many southern and uh, southeastern parts of the country. Uh, however, we go through the middle part of the week, and then the second half of the week, and we're turning cooler. And then after that, it looks like the temperatures are just uh, sticking around, and maybe a little bit below average as we go through the end of the week, into the weekend, and then on into next week. Precipitation, still plenty of it. So, I've uh, got a little bit of showy rain today. There's the rainfall on Wednesday associated, of course, with this drop in the temperature. And then after that, it looks like we're keeping it pretty unsettled. Mostly showery, I have to say. I'm not sure we'll get too much more in where prolonged uh, soaking rain after Wednesday. But there'll be lots of showers Thursday, Friday and lasting into weekend. Some of them will be heavy and thundery. And they could merge, actually, into longer spells of rain because I think winds will be quite light. This is temperature anomaly for next week. This takes us from the 15th to 23rd of May, and it looks overall a little bit cooler than average, and that's even taking into account the uh, warm temperatures that we've got coming up tomorrow and probably lasting into uh, Thursday, into Wednesday as well. So a little bit cooler than average uh, for the next week with temperature anomaly. Precipitation anomaly, look at that. It's wetter than average. Uh, been a long time since we've seen this uh, UK-wide uh, precipitation normally coming out wetter than average, but there it is. We're into a different type pattern now. So we go through to the end of the week. We've got low pressure as a shallow trough sitting over the country. That's going to be bringing showers or longer spells of rain on Friday and lasting into the weekend as well. This is the chart for Saturday. This is the chart for Sunday. The trough is firmly centred over the country, so there'll be showers rotating around that low pressure. Notice the isobars are very spaced out, so there's no real wind to speak of either, which means showers are likely to be slow moving, heavy and thundery over the weekend. Into next week, this is Monday 22nd of May, week away, and we've got low pressure still there around the country, keeping it unsettled, and that continues into Tuesday. I'm not sure what's going on there. It looks like the low pressure is deepening on Tuesday. Probably some sort of secondary feature developing into a, another area of low pressure. That could bring a more pronounced uh, band of wet weather, perhaps, early next week. And then we keep it unsettled, running up to day 10. This takes us to day 10, which is Thursday 25th of May, and it looks unsettled. Low pressure is still in your trial. We're bringing up a warmish southerly flow, but the main thing is the low pressure that will be bringing further showers, if not longer spells of rain. The east end of looking like this. For Friday, it's unsettled. Low pressure is close to the country, over the country, bringing showers. That continues into the weekend as well. Next week, we try and build a little bit of a ridge there on Monday, but uh, really it's days are numbered and low pressure is heading quite uh, easily back in off the Atlantic. So we end up on uh, day 10, Thursday 25th of May with low pressure over the country. Notice quite a blocking signal there. Uh, we saw it on the height anomaly flow chart, quite a lot of high pressure 
to our north and then uh, to the south of that blocking feature we've got all of this low pressure in the Atlantic which is only going one way and that is in that direction. So it looks like uh, we're going to be having unsettled weather. Obviously, the focus uh, for the immediate future is on Wednesday's rainfall. Exactly where will that band of heavy rain uh, set up? It may set up uh, actually through central parts of the country, maybe a little bit further east. So we'll just have to further upon that. The overall signal for the next week to 10 days is unsettled. However, we can expect showers or longer spells of rain. And those temperatures, after a warm interlude on Tuesday, uh, they are going to be dropping to fairly poor levels, actually. So uh, not only is it going to be unsettled, temperatures aren't going to be very inspiring either. Right, that's all for now. Come back later on when we'll extend out beyond this uh, period into the bank holiday weekend. So come back for that this evening. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.